working to help our city. I still say vote Bertolo as counselor because I'm honest. I shoot from the hip. I'm polite, bilingual, hard worker, re retired to devote all my 24-7 time to you. I'm an optimist. This city can have it all, and this is what we want for ourselves and our children in the future. We have all the resources necessary to bring this on. Again, vote Bertolo, vote for a better tomorrow. The, uh, the election campaign this year, people have asked me how the campaign was going, and, and I told them, I really don't know because I've been campaigning for 40 years. And in, in my point of view, what I've been doing for the last 40 years is getting to know the community. I've been in a training program, and now I'm sitting at a stage of my life where I've got the qualifications, I've got the experience, I've got the ability, I've got the time, and I know the people. And I think the people know me, they've known me for a long time. There are a lot of things that I want to do to make this community better. I, I really want to spend a lot of time improving the quality of life for the people in the suburb portion of Ward 5. They really do need a lot more provided for them. The people in the, sub, in the housing units, the people in the co-ops, that whole area needs a lot. And, and they have to get a lot more attention. The people in the valley, I really want to start working with the Ward 6 Councillor. And I want to work together with the Ward 6 Councillor so that we can build the valley and not just everything from Dominion Drive over and everything from Dominion Drive North. Like we have to look at, let's connect and let's become the valley again. So we've got two distinct communities that have to be looked at. That the suburb portion, a lot of needs, much different needs than here. The valley portion, much different needs, but we've got the ability to work together and connect. And my ability to represent people and to present arguments, present a position that will help people see that perhaps the position that we're trying to put forth in the valley is good for the entire city of Greater Sudbury. Maybe we should have community gardens throughout the area. Maybe we should have better playgrounds throughout the area. Maybe our transit service should be better. So that's why I'm, I'm running. It's, I think I've got uh, a lot to do. Mesdames et messieurs, vous avez attendu ce soir qu'est-ce que j'avais. Je vous propose en tant que candidat. Euh, une chose qui est certaine, c'est que je vais travailler fort pour vous. Et je vais toujours vous rester avec, euh, vous traiter avec respect. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight you heard that we talked about leadership in the community. I'm not afraid to lead by example when it comes to Ward 5 in the city of Greater Sudbury. When you consider where, I, where I've come from, what I mean by that is that I, where I had a serious injury, fought like hell, and literally had to relearn to do everything to accomplish what, I, what I've done today. My wife said to me tonight before we left because I was very nervous, and she pointed out, Richard, remember, where you've been and where you're going. So where I'm going with this is basically, I can't do the job properly uh, as your counselor if I don't listen to what the citizens are saying. But that's what you will get from me. I can't run away, no pun intended, because you'll catch up to me, all right? I'm going to be with you for five minutes talking, and I'm going to, be with, I'm going to still take me five minutes to get away. But that's what you'll get from me. The other thing you'll get from me is you'll get integrity because I'm not in it for myself. I'm in it to help people. I'm in it to work with the community. The other thing you'll get is accountability. Is I propose that once, uh, if I'm elected, that the city should make biannual reports, but not biannual, sorry, quarterly reports 
as to what's happening with council and where they're at in regards with their plans. That's what I would push for. I know I'm running out of time, so I'm not I'm gonna leave it at that. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Madame et Messieurs, merci beaucoup pour votre attention ce soir et votre question. C'est très important pour tous les candidats ici que vous êtes ici ce soir. You have one more job to do in this election. Get out and vote. Encourage your friends and your families to vote. Talk about the issues and concerns and determine who you feel will best represent the war and Greater Sudbury for the next four years. Experience, leadership, and a strong voice is what I bring to the table. If I'm the one that you think would represent Ward 5 best, then vote Kent McNeil. If you feel one of the other gentlemen to my right would be better, then vote for them. But make sure you cast your ballot. Too much blood has been shed to give you that right. Don't stay home. Make sure you cast your vote. Thank you. As a city, we're trying to survive uncertain weather and economic storm. The province continues to download to the municipality, and we are constantly trying to find ways to create new revenues. Rooted industry is getting smarter by reducing their carbon footprint and thus reducing the taxes they pay yearly. We need to come up with new positive ways to attract business and consumers to greater suburbs. I propose the idea of Sudbury first. Let us lead the way and let others follow. Let us find proactive ways to create work with our youth and they don't have to leave town. Let us cut the red tape and be 100% accountable to you in our daily business. Let us move towards open data and creating the Office of the <coughs> Commissioner. Let's improve snow plowing and authorize nighttime construction work for major projects. We will stop the hiring of expensive consultants and implement zero-based budgeting framework for our budget. A strong United Council working together will balance the books, trim the fat, and lay down the foundations for a prosperous tomorrow. I will work with Council and staff to better our infrastructure, our public transit, and create a more senior-friendly community. Now keep in mind, no one gets the baby without the pregnancy. Rome wasn't built in a day or any other generic quote you can think of. But positive change will take time. However, I'm certain that only positive results will come of it. The people I have talked to while knocking on doors and attending city functions and events in the city have clearly told me they want change. I plead you, don't just say you want it, make it happen. Get out and vote, vote online, and become more aware of the issues. I ask you to fall in love with your community and your city. Be a part of it, be active and get it moving again. Ride the bus, take in a play at the Subway Theatre Centre, be ambassadors for your great city and for Ward 5. I will tell you up front, like I did tonight, I don't have all the answers. I will fall down from time to time, but I will pick myself up and I will not be afraid to ask you, the citizens, for help. So I ask you to allow me the opportunity to earn your trust and prove to you I'm the man for the job. And on that note, I would like to take a moment to thank all of you uh, for the respect and courtesy of the process this evening, allowing all of the candidates, obviously, the time to express their views. Hopefully it was helpful to everybody. And also a big thank you to the five gentlemen before you, obviously. This evening. appreciate their help in making my job easier for tonight and for taking the time to join us here and share their thoughts. Thank you.